welcome back again in tech six sets uh, today we will discuss about deloitte uh, hiring process so if you go through this website at tech six sense under placement preparations you can find the placement update so under placement update you can find there are multiple companies are already available in our websites so all the details are also available if you just scroll down here you can find the deloitte uh, cyber google 2026 pass out uh, for pass out batch so each and every details are available so just click on read more and it would redirect to the main page so all the details we have mentioned uh, like uh, this is for only uh, 2026 pass out batch and all the details are also available so uh, based on your choice definitely you can go through it so i just give a quick uh, revisions before start the registration actual registration process okay so here you can find the designation is basically analytics training uh, there are some compensation is also available so each and everything is already mentioned over so here but uh, so if we talk about the journey as well as the selection process so here you can find so first you have to apply it and then there should be some technical assessment then interview process then there are some uh, boot camp like six months uh, mainly it's one type of training you can say so Deloitte has some uh, MOU with one institution that is called SDI so SDI is nothing but a some institution in Obanasha so they have some MOU and if I talk about the eligible criteria so all the eligible criteria is already mentioned over here but make sure you have minimum 60% marks throughout your academic career like 10th uh, 12th if you have a uh, diploma uh, then definitely it's required for 60% minimum 60% marks and BTEC and MTEC as well so in your academic journey 60% marks is very very important and the students should not have any standing backlogs okay so these are the things they have mentioned under the eligible criteria and there are some uh, skill is also required uh, in terms of our subskill as well as the technical skills so there should, uh, is no limit regarding the programming language all the four or five programming famous programming language is already there but apart from that if you have a database knowledge or cyber security understanding so definitely that will be add on with you and for the work requirement so there are multiple conditions are also available like shifting relocations traveling so each and everything is we have already mentioned so i do not take in much time over here so if i just directly go through the registration process so here you can find the registration so we have been redirected to this official page of deloitte so here you can find the apply now button is also available so just you have to click on the apply now So under application process so you can find there are two options are available one is login as well as the create profile so if uh, you have not yet created your profile in deloitte so you have to click on the create profile options or if you have already logged in so you enter your email address and the password you have mentioned during the registration process of Deloitte. so you have to enter but in my case i have to click on the create profile so again you can find there are total five steps are available like select your resume personal information job specific job specific questions additional information and even summit so this is the very very key point and you have to enter the uh, lots of information so definitely we will guide you how you can uh, complete the registration process so you can find there are two options are available to upload your resume like one is basically copy and paste another is from device so it's my suggestions always upload your uh, pdf format resume so that's why i have to click on the from device so after selecting my uh, resume you can find the continue button is available so you have to click on the continue option so we have already completed the step one like we have uploaded our updated resume in pdf format then we have moved to the next step that is personal informations so again under personal information you have to enter your first name um, uh, last name as well as the mid name so make sure whatever the name is written in your pan card other card so based on that you have to enter your first name as well as the last time. Uh, now you have to enter your uh, mail address the mail address which is um, you have submitted to the training place mention so exactly same mail id you have to enter over here now for the mobile number there is one important point so whenever you enter your mobile number make sure you first start with a class 91 this is the country code then only you have to enter your 10 digit uh, mobile number okay without country code it's an invalid mobile number so make sure you enter your country code first like plus 91 for india then you have to upload your candidate photo so make sure it's a uh, plain background uh, passport size photo then you have to mention your address state country city uh, uh, postal code so there are a few basic informations so you have to enter then under the higher high 
school educations like your 10th 12th so again you have to enter your class 10th board and the percentage and year of completions and 10th uh, sorry 10th board percentage and year of completions so make sure you only enter the numbers let's assume you have a 80 percent in your class 10 so don't enter percentage sign over here and make sure you enter the date from your calendar only okay so basically they are taking only month as well as the year so let's assume for an example if i enter january 2025 so the month and year is already available so similarly you have to enter the class 12 details as well now come back to the next part that is the bachelor so here you can find there is a few questions is also available under bachelor have you completed your graduation degree definitely yes then you have to enter your college name so maybe so so from the drop down menu you have to find your college name let's assume if your college name is not available so you have to search other so here you can find other option is available then you have to enter your college name as well as the city okay then you have to move on what is your stream or batch so yes there is in one confusion so let's assume you are from the uh, computer science background right so if you scroll down here you can find there is two options are available one is computer engineering and another is the computer science so which one you supposed to select so it my suggestions you have to select the computer science if you are from a csc background like computer science and engineering so in that particular case you have to select the computer science rather than computer engineering but it my suggestion there should not be any issue but it my suggestions personally so you have to select computer science then yes you have to select the educational level like if you are from uh, BTEC, so definitely select uh, bachelor degree. If you are from a master degree, that is called MTech, so you have to select the master degree. So based on your case, you have to select the education level. Then make sure you enter your university roll numbers. So if it's a 10 digit roll number or 12 digit number, you have to enter. But in some cases, let's assume your roll number start from 00. So most of the students always ignore the first 00. No, it's exactly the roll number is printed in your document or in your college ID card, exactly same roll number you have to enter. Then what is your aggregate scores? So again, uh, CGP is already available, so you have to just add your CGPA and then again uh, month and year of completion of your BTEC or MTech degree, you have to select from the calendar as well. Do you have any back papers? Definitely no, so you have to click on the no. Then again, just scroll down, like if you have an MTech degree, then you have to select the options. If yes, then yes, then no, or you are continuing your MTech degree, so based on your choice, you have to select. Then under the work experience, uh, so make sure the internship is not will be calculated or considered as a work experience so make sure uh, if you have a full-time work experience then only you have to select the yes option if i select the yes option again it will ask lots of details like uh, total uh, um, work experience in month so you have to enter job title uh, in which organization you have done your uh, in full-time internship or your job so you have to mention over here from the drop down menu so there are multiple companies is also available and the start date as well as end date and city so these are the few informations are available you have to enter and if you don't have any work experience so simply you can uh, remove or if you have another experience so again you can click on the add other object so here again you can find the same thing is already available so based on your case we have to add multiple work experience but if you are a fresher like a btech student definitely there should not be any uh, full-time uh, work experience so in that case you have to click on the no options now again if i come back to the next one do you have an Indian passport? Definitely, if, in your case, if you have, then yes, otherwise no. And do you hold a US work permit? So, of course, no, in our cases. And do you have any information? Like, are you a former employee of Deloitte? Right? So, definitely, as a student, definitely you don't have any uh, former employee status of Deloitte. Right? So, you have to select on the no. Now, based on your choice, you have to set your password. And the same password you have to enter under the confirm password. Then you have to check the terms and conditions checkbox then click on save and continue now you have to complete the steps three that is job specific questions so are there multiple profile or job descriptions shared at your campus so that means in your college if you multiple uh, profile has been there so in that case you have to select yes otherwise no but if your training placements are only shared one specific role for daylight like uh, analysis training so you have to share, uh, select the no options. You know, there is only one job profile. Now under so now under job uh, submission details, you have to upload your resume, updated resume in PDF format. Now again, you have to upload the cover letter, but it's not a must required fit. But it our suggestions, you should upload one cover letter. We have already uh, make a one cover letter for Deloitte. Uh, so you can get it from our WhatsApp group as well as the Telegram channel. The descriptions 
in the description the both the link is already pasted so you can uh, join in our channel and then under under the other attachment what are the document you supposed to under the other attachment you have to upload your some global certifications let's assume we have a global certifications on sap or aws or gcp or this type of or cyber security so if you have a some valid uh, certifications so under the other attachment definitely you can upload it or if you have a, some achievement like you um, hackathon or hack fest so like this type of event if you have attended and you have a valid certifications and which can be showcase your technical skills so definitely that type of certification must be uploaded over here now candidate picture so based on your uh, passport size picture which we have already uploaded so so that uh, picture is already available over here so based if you want to change it so definitely you can click on the remove options now under the location preference so based on your case we have to select the paper job locations so like there are multiple job locations is also available like bengaluru chennai so multiple things are also uh, locations are available so first location second location and third location oh sorry there are two locations are available you have to select from your chart uh, and then you have to come back to the next part that is what are the percentage of time are you willing to travel so why this question is there so mainly the companies wants to know that if we uh, shift the candidate uh, from one location to another locations or if you need to travel to your college uh, to your um, job location to your some other uh, training institutions so you are willing or not so in my suggestions always you have to give the um, more probability that i am willing to travel so there is a one percentage call up to 75 percent so definitely you can select this particular percentage but make sure you do not select uh, none or up to 25 percent or 50 percent so 75 percent is good to go then again you have to click on the save and continue now we are moved to the next part there is additional information do we have any professional certifications so again if you have any certification but there is a some drop down so whatever the certification they have mentioned over here exactly same type of certifications we have to mention but if not then under the other attachment definitely you can upload uh, whatever the certifications are available right so if i search over here sap so under sap if you find there are a few certification is also already available like above for uh, sap hana so if you have this type of certifications under sap definitely you can upload it so based on your choice so definitely i have a certifications on above so i have to select it then uh, proficiency so it's definitely certified uh, number or id so uh, so basically you your, in your certification you can find there are some unique number is there so you have to enter the number and the issue date or the uh, expiry date so these are the information you have to mention again if you have another certification in the same way you have to click on the add others and again you can find there are multiple the similar type of page is already available so you can upload over here if not then you can you have just click on the remove options okay so then we have to move to the next part so i just again click on the save and continue so we have finally reached to the last step uh, preview and submit so based on your uh, informations uh, so if i just scroll down so if you definitely you have to verify whatever the data you are given it is correct or not if all the information is correct then you have to click on the submit button if you need to some modifications so each and every section has some edit options so you can edit your informations and then if all the things are correct then you have to click on the submit so finally we have completed the registration process so yeah, definitely in your case you also get the similar type of thank you screen and again if you want to check your status so you have to just click on the profile icon so if you click on the profile icon so so the same information will be available over here but here you can find there is one option called withdraw so if you think they do not continue your uh, recruitment drive with uh, deloitte so you can just click on the withdraw options okay so these are the entire registration process so i believe this will be helpful uh, for your registration process and again if you have any query so definitely you can uh, text in your whatsapp group or telegram channel or in the comment section is already available so you can comment thank you tata bye bye